Oh, all right, hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're here with the E36 M3 along Brooklyn Park, chasing down an S14 tandem in front of us. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the support on the videos we've been getting lately. The first couple videos back, already getting more likes than we're used to. And we're getting consistent comments. Thank you. Outcasted57, man. Three years of support from this guy since I first started with mobile content. He's been commenting and supporting. Can't thank you enough, man. It means the world to me. And Zach again with another amazing comment. <laughs> it's just... Oh, man. I love giving you all a little, a little shout out in the video for, for uh, the comments. It means the world to me. It's something that I'm taking from Ethos Lab. Um, in every video, he has a comment of the day, right? In his Let's Play video, and he's done this Let's Play since I was just a kid, right? Ethos Lab is my main Minecraft YouTuber that I watch. I've watched him for over 10 years. I've watched him since the start of Season 1 of his Let's Play. I started watching around Episode 20, and then went back and watched the first 20 episodes, and uh, have watched every single episode since then. I'm a huge, huge fan of his. And he's a huge inspiration be t behind how I make my content and oh my goal with it <laughs> didn't really have anywhere to go there. The S14 kind of changed his trajectory, almost hit him, but we saved it and the 350 saved. Oh no, damn it. So we're back in line here. Sorry about that. Really screwed up the 350, eh? I was trying to say that he saved it by going around us and it was nice. And, like, he did it really well, but then I completely screwed him up. My fault, my bad, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> uh, as I was trying to say, though, Ethos Lab has a comment of the day in his videos, and since I first started watching, I've always loved that idea. And so, I figured, now that we're actually getting comments, why not start adding a comment of the day, right? Um... Or a shout out, right? I'm not gonna copy him straight up, but we'll shout out a comment here and there. If we get a couple comments, we'll shout you all out, like what I'm trying to do so far. Hopefully that whew, is okay. Hopefully you all enjoy it. Oh, buddy. <laughs> hold on to her, hold on to her, go on. Not too shabby. S14's putting down some beautiful lead runs for us here. Oh, I was a bit late on throttle. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. The throttle is way more responsive, as I've said in the last couple of videos. And so, I'm not pressing as much as I would normally do, which means there's less chance to spin out, but it also means I'm not on the power when I need to be at all times. Um... It's just a learning curve, right? As we get used to the new response, we'll be more where we want to be. But I just, being stuck to his door, I can't back, oh, I just backed off a little bit. But still, we're way too back, yeah, still pulled off too late in transition, slightly late. There you go, that was more like it. Just get the throttle, go, oh. Couldn't get the throttle for the angle there, but we got it for the transition. Absolutely beautiful transition timing. Back off there with the left foot brake. Staying on throttle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's where we want to be. Just stay on throttle. There you go. On to it again. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I think we found it. I think we found our groove. <laughs> Let's go, dude. He kind of switched up there, tap the wall, so we have we. Whoa, where's he go? What he? Oh, 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 oh! He slowed down. <laughs> I was expecting him to go wide there, right? And there's someone behind us. We have to go decently wide to give space. And he cut that corner a bit more than I was expecting. <laughs> Woo! My steering wheel's moving. That's not good. Um, I didn't tighten the bolts enough and so it's sliding around on the sim on the on the wood portion of it <laughs> uh, this is amazing i'm so happy to be back on the simulator i absolutely love this 
I got my oh I just got bumped <clears throat> just got bumped bumped that s14 off accidentally sorry buddy but we were able to save it and uh, keep ourselves going around we gave space over to the 240 he passes us allowing us to then hop in behind him absolutely beautiful not too shabby let's see Woo. oh and we both hit the same wall <laughs> oh man all right here we go so had to restart the session there was people ddosing and stuff and they started going through the server ddosing people who are able to drift because they didn't they weren't able to drift and so they were ddosing people who could um completely bullshit petty babies like I, I don't even know like it's ridiculous and uh i've tried getting back onto the server a few times wow that's some bad lag it's just not the car is just not moving holy crap um i've tried to, what is this what is going on whoa yeah, uh, I've tried getting back on a few times now, and there's a player online called Grizzly who just keeps going around hitting everyone, and it's getting really ridiculous, and now we're dealing with really bad lag, holy, I thought we'd be going off the track, but it seems like it's the other E36 that's going off the track, holy mackerel, we just gotta try and hold it together. That 8.6 is the secondary 8.6 to cause problems. Oh my lord, it's both 8.6s, it's not just one of them. The yeah, it's not just the... Right, look at that pink 8.6, there you go, just going and hitting that Miata into the wall. He tried to hit the 350Z right as I was about to start recording there again. Oh my lord. And then he's into the wall after hitting the Miata. Nice. Oh, I tapped the 350 slightly. Thankfully, 350 didn't get spun out, though. Oh, buddy. There's a huge amount of lag right now, which could be part of the reason why the 8.6 is... Oh, nope. There you go. 350 just went and rammed into him. He was tired of him, too, as well. <laughs> so I'm not the only one tired of that 8.6 hitting people. Everyone's tired of him hitting them. <laughs> oh, man. This is insane. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right? I give the 350 a love tap, but you don't see him getting mad at me and hitting me, right? He's mad at the people who actually physically, like, hit him into the wall on purpose over and over and over again, which is the pink 86. <laughs> That's just. Oh! I tapped the wall. I just tapped the wall. <laughs> oh, he tapped the wall, and we're both tapping that wall. <laughs> what a crash, eh? Ta seeing the 350 crash into the wall and immediately following him into it. Freaking hell. Not at all what I was trying to do, but we'll see what we got here. We'll get back in line with this RX-7. See if we can get back on this door. Oh, there you go. Got our position, transition, beautiful. Should have kept both hands on the wheel. I let the wheel rotate a bit too much. There. Oh. Oh, buddy. We just tapped his door. We just tapped his door. The slightest amount I've ever tapped a door before. <laughs> that was very gentle. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we just tapped his door like that and didn't, like... It was, that was so gentle. I'm not sure how his car even moved. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Get close, eh? This throttle response is beautiful. Holy crap, I can't even... I can't even explain the difference in throttle response. Like, it, it's... It's mind-boggling how different the throttle is now compared to what it was before. Now, again, the throttle was broken for like a month before I actually upgraded it, right? It, it, it was broken somewhat, and then it finally, like, gave out 100%, right? And then I tried to clean it, and broke it even further. <laughs> and so, it's been, 
it's been a while since I've had a throttle that felt proper anyways, so it might it might not be that different, right? But it is it's definitely different. It's not like this is amazing. I'm barely I'm just feathering I'm feathering the throttle and it's just doing exactly what you want it to do. It's absolutely beautiful compared to what it is originally. Wow. Obviously the pedal itself hasn't changed, right? The same spring and everything. It's literally just the potential meter and then the wiring loom and the adapter to the PC because it gets better response time for these. The wiring loom gives better response, the adapter gives better response, and the potential meter gives better response. It's in... I... <laughs> Between the three of them, it's different. It's completely different response on all pedals. It's not just the throttle. All three pedals feel amazing in comparison to the stock format. We definitely recommend getting these parts. And that's not sponsored. This is not paid or anything, right? I have no affiliation. They didn't even contact me when I was trying to get it fixed. And I, like... Right there, they had closed for the day by the time I had contacted them because they're in Europe and I'm in Canada, different time zone. Um, and so by the right, so they they didn't even have a chance to help me, and I just fixed it on myself and let them know how I fixed it. And whether they responded or not, I honestly don't even know. I don't doesn't really matter. Uh, but they haven't emailed me, so. Um, yeah, like, I'm just right. I just recommend the parts because I think they're good, right? I had a really fun time trying to learn how to put them together and how to do the tutorial, and we made an amazing tutorial. Thank you to y'all for the support on it. It means the world to me. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, if you need the parts, you get them. If you want them, you get them, whatever. Like, just don't if you don't need them or whatever and if you don't have the money don't go and do it right it's not worth the extra money if you're struggling um like on it like if you're if you're thinking oh like I, i'd have to not get this bit of food this week or whatever to save that 10 bucks to put towards it don't do it don't save the 10 dollars for this right save the 10 doll like put the 10 dollars towards food or save the ten dollars for your house, right? Don't uh, a, a sim upgrade is not worth it. Um, but again, if you have that extra cash on the side and you can afford to do this, and you'd like to do it or need to because yours is broke, then go for it. It's definitely a, it's well worth it in that case. If you really enjoy simulator, right? <laughs> not something you buy just to try out a simulator you don't need it to try it right you can just get a basic g29 a stock g29 used off facebook marketplace place is exactly what this is right uh i got this off marketplace for 250 dollars or sorry 350 dollars uh but with the actual seat and the wood contraption that it's all connected to for a uh, like just the wood alone, it costs over $40 at the price we have today, and the seat would cost another 50 bucks at the, the junkyard. So that's $100, almost $100 worth of value just there, plus I got the shifter, the pedals, and the steering wheel. It was well worth the deal. Now, I think this is going to be getting up close to the end of this video for y'all. I hope you've all enjoyed so far. I've had an absolute blast recording. It was a bit of a pain in the ass to have the 8.6 going around hitting us, but that's that's whatever. If he wants to be a jerk because he's no good at the game, then let him have no friends and do his own thing, right? <laughs> um, we are all having fun together as a group, tandeming even though we don't know each other, while he's going around alone with no one. Um, so please, if you hop on the server, be nice to each other, support each other. If someone's learning, don't be mean, right? It's not the end of the world if someone's learning and he, they hit you or whatever. But 
if you are someone who's just learning and you might bump someone, say sorry. It's very simple. Just say sorry and it fixes everything. <laughs> Literally, 90% of the players, oh, won't care if you hit them as long as you say sorry or my bad, right? Put my B. Don't even spell bad all the way. Just put the letter B. And half the players understand that it means my bad and it's all good. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Some players just seem to think they're above that, though. <laughs> oh, that was a close call. I thought I was going to hit that post. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a little 360 to end this video for y'all. Oh, my lord. Oh, I thought I was hitting that Miata. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so easy. It's honestly so easy to 360 at this point. It's a, uh, but that's gonna be the end of this video. A lap of 360s and then back into the tandem position. No issues. It's like we were here the whole time. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just, I'm really feeling it again. I'm finding the groove. Let's go. Thank you all so much. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment with your favorite part. And consider also subscribing for more daily content Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. And as always, everyone, I'll see y'all tomorrow with another video. Peace out. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't know. Wow. Don't normally go off the track while saying peace out. <laughs>